Hello and welcome, dear artist and creative community. I'm Trevor Kutcher and I will show you in this chatting tutorial how to use an action in the state machine in the chatting software. An action is a basical if then logic array in chatting. So I have prepared something for you from the first tutorial. You know the keyboard and then I have attached a MIDI controller. First I will stick to the keyboard, then to the MIDI controller, compare them and then I may do combinations of both of them. So what do we need? First we need our hardware and we go to hardware keyboard where we can go our data from. If I you can now see the last key I pressed in this inspector panel and in the last tutorial was a bit of unclear how the modifier key is working it's just a modifier to a key so if I press command and T shift and T they light up also with all the T it, it works the control and command buttons are light up together on a Windows machine it may be work a bit of differently on a Mac OS. So then we go to our hardware sound card. This is used to play sound files if the conditions are true. And then we add also protocol MIDI, select the attached MIDI controller from the available list. Everyone who ever used a DAW will may be familiar with this workflow. So and if I show you that if I press there it gets data in. So now I add a state and please name everything. It's MIDI and keyboard chain reference everything from the name so if you rename it later it may be not that cool to chain if you get really big arrays of logic so please make it first to rename so now we want only keyboards and I get add from input value input keyboard last key you see L button and now you can see okay if I press L it's light up green so now I can attach a consequence true which is sound card play sound file but you can also play a light cue from a lighting desk if you have it attached in your models so I've prepared a data sound and every time I press the L button, you will hear this ding. So, but here is this consequence true. And you can also attach a sound. And we have dong. And the consequence true works if it's get true. And the consequence fall if it's get from true to false. So if I press this L and release, you can make an easy double for now. So first, then we will get yeah, a next action and it's also two keys and now what happens if I enter or add two keys? So we get from learn also L and if I press L it gets green. Now I can add a second condition from input value keyboard last key and I will use A. Yes, so L is green and A and now you have to press L and A to make it true. So we will also attach the 
ding sound. Now I press L and A and the ding sound appears. If you press A and L, nothing will happen because I don't know, it's a bit of a bug. And Logic Array would also cause it to play in either combination, but in the keyboard, it's you need to stick to the right order. Even if you regroup it, it won't work. So this is a bit of a bug. Now we do the same with the MIDI controller. So MIDI only. And we have here learn, press A on the MIDI controller, which is this particular value, channel 16, C sharp 5, and um, 127 value. So if I add the sound card and also use the ding sound, everything is fine. So just for fun, we add for the falls the dong to prove that it works also in this direction here. We clear that and add another condition true. MIDI and we click to learn and we have both buttons and, and if I have and you see this lights up green with the keyboard does and now it's not relevant in which order you press MIDI works in both directions so it's just how the keyboard module behaves so this is fine and now the last check action combined with L and a MIDI just to have it for fun. MIDI and keyboard, consequence to also sound card, ding sound, and you can do L and A, A and L, and also if you combine two modules, the order of pressing the buttons is not relevant anymore. So this was the basic of actions. You can also use AND or OR in a yes state. The OR means that you can either press A or the L button and it gets triggered and if you have both then you have a double trigger. Yeah, so these are the two logic arrays available in stage. The advanced logic arrays are not available in the conditions mode. So have fun to try out and maybe we will see us again by a later tutorial to Chitain. Have fun!